Hello everybody, it's Adamo Freeman with CopLock.org. This past weekend, myself and several of the cop lockers covered the protest held in Cleveland, Ohio. The protest you're about to see is a reaction to the not guilty verdict handed down in the Michael Brero case. For more information on that, see the links in the description below. For now, I'd like to focus on one protester who carried a sign that said, fuck the police. Throughout the day, I came across this individual several times, and we even met at a previous gathering outside the Justice Center. This also relates to a post I just wrote on coplock.org, which you can also find a link to in the description below. For now, here's this video. I can't stop the bad guy! Go watch your fucking Indians game. You guys make me fucking sick. Shut the fuck up. Well, guilty. Occupied by police state. Go get yours, don't worry. Go get yours, don't worry. Second Amendment. I don't need no fucking police. It's 2015. I call you guys, show up an hour late, and then what? You take some fucking notes? Fuck you guys. Fuck all you. I'm so fucking over this. I'm so fucking over this, dude. So what's the big deal about saying fuck the police or flipping them the middle finger? Why are cops harassing, arresting, or using force against people who are exercising their First Amendment right. Even without the First Amendment, everyone was taught as a child that sticks and stones may break their bones, but names will never hurt them. Why is this something that's so hard for officers to understand? And at the end of the day, maybe these officers should take a look within their ranks to see why people are saying fuck the police or giving them the bird. None of these protests probably would have happened had the police policed their own to begin with. Until next time, remember, badges don't grant extra rights. Peace. Fuck the police! Fuck the police! Fuck the police! Fuck the police! Fuck the police!